Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the concept of statically indetermined problems. So in the previous videos, we discussed the simple structures and axially loaded bars. And these are analyzed by the consideration of the simple equations of statics and also by considering the static equilibrium condition. But some members axially forces in the members and the reactions at the support could be found by when drawing the free body diagram and solving the equilibrium conditions. So let us observe in the diagram the bar ABC is loaded with the P and reaction forces R1 and R2 are formed at the end of the members. So these type of the problems we are calling as a statically indetermined problems. And these problems cannot be solved by simple equations of statics alone. So these problems can be solved by consideration of the deformation characteristics and also equation of statical equilibrium. So this problem we will be see with the one example problem. A bar of uniform section is fixed at both the ends and is loaded with a force P shown in figure. Determine the reactions at the both of the ends and also find the extension of AC member. So just observe the given figure here. The member ABC is loaded with the force capital P is within the member at point B and also the member is having the fixed at both of the ends. So due to the fixed ends the reaction force will be occur at the both ends of the member. Let us consider R1 and R2 are the two reactions and here applying the statics equilibrium so from the statics of equilibrium r1 plus r2 equal to p the statics of equilibrium saying that one the upward forces upward, upward forces should be equal to the downward forces see here force is applying at a point b in the downward direction so at point b in the downward direction so obviously at point a so reaction force it will be occur the direction it should be so reverse direction so for the apply load obviously it is the downward mean so it will be reaction force should be upward direction similarly here i have to observe the uh, member bc member in the bc member so here load is applying the downward member obviously here upward direction so one more reaction forces will be occur. So the condition of equilibrium saying that one the so total summation of the upward direction forces should be equal to the summation of downward forces. Here R1 and R2 are the upward so upward forces. So R1 plus R2 it should be equal to the summation of the downward forces. Here only having the P only the downward forces. So R1 plus R2 equal to P. So let us consider this is the equation one and and one more thing you have to observe here the section is fixed at the both of the ends so due to its fixed supports at their ends so there is the no deformation in the member so since the ends are fixed in position extension of ab equal to the compression of bc Let's see how it will come the extension, how it will be compression in the AB and BC members. So let's see the AB bar and apply the principle of superposition. So here let us consider the AB bar. Let us take the AB bar and we have to apply the principle of superposition. The principle of superposition is saying that one the to determine the net forces of this section is we have to go for the any is a left hand hands or, or maybe right hand side here, here we have to go for the upward or maybe the downward directions so let's go for the 
upward direction for the AB member. Here we here are having the only one force that is the R1 force. So net force in the AB member is that is the R1. The direction should be the upward. So the nature of the forces should be the tensile. So due to the tensile forces occurring in the AB member, how we answer it is the extension it will be occur. Similarly, we have to observe in the BC member. Here we have to let take the BC member. So let take the BC member. The forces is occurring the. So first we have to apply the uh, principle of superposition. Then we have to apply the either upward side or maybe the downward side. So let observe the downward side. The reaction force is the net force is only one force is occurring. That is the reaction force that is R2. So only one force is acting. So how we assume net force should be the R2. The nature of the R2 force is compressive. So how we assume it will be contraction. It will be takes place. So due to this one. So due to the fixed supports, its deformation is constant. It's nothing but we have to say that one the extension of the AB member should be equal to the compression of the BC member. So extension is nothing but deformation. Extension or be the compression is nothing but deformation. We know the deformation formula is P L by A E. The P equal to the net force applied in the member. So let first consider the AB member. Here net force is the R1. So P L by A E mean. So in the place of P, you have to replace with the R1. And L is length of the AB section is given that one the small A. So R1 by cross section. Let us consider the cross section area of the AB member and the BC member E. Sorry A. And the length smallness of the both of the section should be the E. So first we have to determine the deformation of the AB member that is the R1 by AE. Similarly, we have to determine the deformation of the BC member that is the R2 B by AE. So here AE AE will get cancelled. Then we have to find the one relation that is the R1 A equal to the R2 B. So from this relation, we have to say that one the R1 equal to R2 B by A. So then we have to substitute this R1 value in the equation one. So we will get that one the so R2 B by A plus R2 equal to P. So let take the R2 is common, then R2 common, then B by A plus one equal to the P. See here, so R2 value we have to say that one the P by B plus A plus one. So here we have to take the LCM that is the A and we have to write down the B plus A. So then we have to take the A equal to here. Then this value will become the P by A divided by the A plus B. So we have to write down the from above equation R2 value we will get the P A by A plus B. So we know that when the A plus B equal to total length of the member that is the capital L. So then we have to substitute this R2 value in the equation one. So we will get the R1 value that is the P B by L. So once we know the R1 and R2 values, now we have to determine the So deformation of the AB member and also the BC member. So this, so we know the deformation value of the AB equal to R1 A by AE. Then have to substitute R1 value. So in this equation, so here we will get the PAB by L into AE. So like this, we have to solve the this type of the problems. Thank you.